home of the free, land of the brave, this is where we find ourselves today. Here is where I have borne witness to images, images that are more than my churning stomach can allow, and they are just pictures, just snapshots, just captured moments in time where smoke rising is not steam from industrial heaters keeping us in warmth, but instead another missile, another 15 lives lost. Where we can't understand bread lines, how can we comprehend genocide? And there's no hope if there is no one to listen to the people. There is so much death, so many families across the world which won't have grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, cousin, then what? Who listens to the people? Or is it just that life has always been the cost of politics? This just in, another photograph, another broken body of a child so disfigured we don't know whether it was a boy or a girl, just that it was someone's baby. That it had life long enough to understand the fear of rocket fire, the power of money, the, the struggle for survival. Another hysterical phone call from another wounded father. More of his family has been massacred in a fight he can do nothing to stop. There is a call to the people of a country so lost in comfort that we've lost our humanity. A call to break free from apathy. A call to raise our voices, to rise together, to share our pain, to love another being for simply being. There can be no room for doubt in this. Not after another page, another body, another family down for the count. This is so much more than a personal cry of pain. This has to do with the loss of lives to greed and power. The numbers are more than just a figure. They are human, they are women, they are men, they are children. There are people that have only known fear and loss. Six years, eight years, twelve years, the dead. The number of years existed to be turned into so much ash, so much pain, so much hurt. The rivers run red with the blood of children lost. A government refusing to hear the shattered cries torn from the throats of the grieving. It's all politics. It's about control at all costs, and the cost is simply life. Two years later, my heart screams in anguish for the loss of more family, more children, more pain. They say there is a war going on for your mind. If you are thinking, you are winning. But I'm thinking that no one is winning. This is merely rubble, death, holocaust, and no one wins that battle.